Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's not morning. I always say good morning. Maybe you're watching in the morning, but it's the afternoon. And we are at the farm. Believe that. Oh, yep. Okay, don't hit me. Yeah, if you can believe it or not, we're back at the farm. This is the last farm trip for about the next week, and then I gotta go do some ice fishing. You guys know. You guys have been one of the ice fishing videos. Gotta give you the ice fishing videos. But right now, the ice is not safe here in Nebraska, so I gotta go northwest to uh, some safer ice. But we've got a lot of work to do today. Um, right now, it is 2.35 p.m. So we only have like two hours or so of daylight left. It's a lot colder than I thought. I didn't bring a coat. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be a little cold. Yeah, it's a little chilly. But we gotta go check some traps. You guys know the drill. Um, maybe shoot some coyotes, maybe do some other fun things. We're not really sure what exactly we have planned, but you guys stay tuned. Enjoy the farm vlog. If you guys do enjoy them, let me know in the comments section down below. Riggs, come here, Riggs. Come here, you come here. What's up, big guy? Huh? Anyways, I'm gonna shut up. We got, we actually moved this. You guys know, actually, Kai Dog. I didn't do anything. Kai Dog did all the work. Moved the, the, the old camp daddy here. Are you ever gonna pick a name? I haven't picked a name, folks. Pick I haven't name. seen anything that I loved. Like, you guys are really good, but like, I still haven't seen something where I'm like, that's it. But look at it. We got it parked here on the concrete pad. Back here, we got Austin's. And then we got, look, look at this. We got the 10 pounder. Oh, Jake hung the coyote skin. Or oh, maybe, or maybe more, maybe it was, uh, maybe it was Kyle. This is the old coyote. We gotta go get this thing all, what do you call it, tanned, right? Yeah. We gotta go get that done. But this is the new crash pad here. We got yeah. the ducks trailer. Everything's everything's looking good. It looks like we somewhat have our somewhat have our lives together. But anyways, like I said, I'm gonna shut up. We gotta go check some traps. Twenty minutes later. All right. Well, oh, she's not that bad. I've seen way worse. I've seen I've seen the old tundra look way worse. But it was kind of a slip and slide to get down here. Not gonna lie. Got a little bit of sauce on it. But first things first, we gotta go check the beaver traps before it gets dark. This is a good sign. It's it's all thawed out. It's all open, which is really good for us. We just, oh, I see some ice up there. It's Maybe it's, oh no, is it ice? Oh, there's a little bit of ice. So if you guys are new to the channel, um, we're, we have a beaver issue down here at the farm and uh, we've been setting some traps up without without a whole lot of luck so far. We caught one, I caught my first beaver, but now now we're after the rest of them. We think there's like five or six more, but we have some trail camps set up as well. So we'll know, you know, if we see those guys, then, uh, oh my God, we got one. <laughs> That's in that? a dog proof. That's in a dog proof. That's a big old. Oh my Ooh. God, we got one. Well, folks, look at this. We still have a trap in here too. There's still a chance this one. No. Is he alive? Yeah. Oh God, that's scary. We got a mamma jam. I am nervous. What if it like, I guess, I mean, he's pinned down. Not really. He's alive though. He's for sure breathing. Oh, breathing. How is he pinned down still? Because oh, we, okay. we ran the cable. And then the cables into a yeah a rebar, it's like a rebar. Because he look, he took that all the way out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, well, I, I am scared. I'll I'll be right back. I'll go get the gun. All right, well we got one one coon down. We got to go check all the the beaver megasm mechanisms that we have rocking and rolling on here. Fixed it. They fixed they fixed the dam, folks. Son of a gun. The snow melt. You can actually kind of see this thing more. Dude, they fixed this like a mother. Cheese and rice. Well, we have a we have a trail cam here. I don't know if you guys remember what this looked like, but I'll roll the clip. So yeah, they fixed the entire thing, dude. That's all new. This is all brand new. This was one big hole. So where's our traps? That's it. That's they went ham. So we definitely didn't trap them all because obviously they fixed it. So yeah, it's ripping through there though. That's new. I don't remember that. Who put all these sticks here? Beavers? They went, they went ham, dude. I and mean, they, they put all these, these are all brand new. This whole tree, this is brand new. We have no idea where our traps are. We had two foothold traps staked down with a giant piece of rebar. Like, I don't know. Unless they buried it, dude. Well, beavers win this round, I guess. We still have one trap to go look at. Maybe we caught another beaver. I don't know. Clearly, there's still beavers here. We haven't, we haven't gotten them all because they repaired that very well. There is hair. That's a coyote hair. That is. That's coyote. Yeah. Oh, our coyote snare didn't work. We had one set out. You guys probably can't see this all that well, but there's a little bit of hair. So I don't know how that all works. So we needed a bigger snare. I think right? we need a bigger snare. Bigger hole. Our snare was a little small. Crazy. We weren't trying to catch coyote. We were actually just trying to catch rabbits and, and stuff like that. We weren't really trying to catch coyote. But um, anyways, we have this. So I don't know. It's it's dead, so it may not have gotten what happened, 
but it probably has some footage on it. So we'll, we'll, you guys will see later. Later today in the video, we'll go over all this trail cam footage. We got a lot of trail cams out here, but okay. So beavers beat us on two traps. Looking on, we gotta go look at a third. And it looks like coyote. It could be, I mean, that could have been rabbit hair. It was just kind of had like a brownish. It could have been rabbit hair, honestly. I don't know. Um, I feel like it's probably better, better chance it was rabbit than a coyote. I doubt. We, I mean, it was a rabbit snare. It wasn't a coyote snare. So I'd be pretty shocked if it was a coyote, but we got one more beaver trap to look at. No, nope, it's still, still ready to rock and roll. Ah, oh, man. How? So where are they getting, where are they getting out, dude? So they're right here. I mean, this is their den. They're getting out and they're fixing our dam, but we're not catching them. Comment down below, where else could they be getting out? I mean, this is like, for their den, this is their only spot. We set one right here and we caught one. And then we waited, we set out two more days, you know, checked every day, didn't get anything there. So we moved it here with nothing. I don't know, weird. These beavers are smart. Yeah, they are. We're getting our ass kicked. We're, we're winning the raccoon fight. I mean, we caught one, but we're getting our ass kicked by these damn beavers. This down here, guys, is another beaver dam, right? Right down. So. Beaver dam's out there, the big one. It comes here. We knock, we knock. Yeah, it. it's down about six inches. We did all this last time we were here. We knocked it. all this down and they haven't fixed it. So they really don't care about this one. They only care about the one by their den at least. Yeah. At least that's what I've kind of noticed. We're gonna head back now. We gotta go grab that raccoon that we have in the, the, do the dog proof. We're gonna go try to shoot a coyote tonight. Um, it's, like, it's getting dark, we only got about an hour or something. We'll do like one or two sits for coyotes, and then we do have some traps around the farm, as you guys know. We'll go check those and see, but the plan as of right now is to do a raccoon catch, clean, and cook video. I've never, well, I've caught one, but I've never really cleaned one, and I've never cooked one, so you guys stay tuned. A few moments later. Woo, all right, well, we made it, barely. I, I probably should have vlogged, yeah. She got a little bit more muddy on that that trek. Um, probably should have vlogged it. Honestly, I was just kind of fearing for my life. I thought I was for sure gonna crash this bad boy. Look at it. I mean, I've always wanted a tan tundra. I mean, here you go. Cheap, cheap way of getting it, huh? We pulled down this dirt road. It was a shortcut here, and we've never been down the road. I'm like, yeah, it doesn't really look all that good. Never been down it before. And Austin says full send, which obviously means I can't say no. So I did it, and I, we should have filmed it. But I, it was just kind of one of those in the moment things where I just I had to keep going. If I stopped, I, we would have got in the truck stuck 100%. I mean, it was like four foot crater on each side and I was on like a super narrow road. It was bad, but all the, we're back here, ready to go do some coyote hunting before dark. Luckily it got sunny, so it should give us a little bit more daylight. The cows are excited to see us. If you guys don't know, if you guys haven't seen my first coyote video where I, I shot one, um, there were some comments in there. They're like, hey, why are you shooting coyotes? What did they do wrong? And I even explained it in the video, what they do wrong. Well, so these guys right here, these guys are my friends. How's it going guys? How are you? See, these ones aren't as, like, friendly as those. The other ones over there really like us. We should go. Let's go talk to them. I mean, you guys are cool, but let me, let's go talk to everybody else. These are my friends. How's it going, guys? See, these are the calves. Look how cute they are. What's up? The ginger ninja. <laughs> What's up, my man? Come on. It's okay. Oh, come on. Look, so these are the calves. Look how cute they are, guys. These guys are so cute. They are adorable little guys. The ginger ninja. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Anyways, why I'm showing you guys this, this is why we are coyote hunting. You have to protect these guys. Now, now the, although these guys are pretty big, personally don't know if a coyote could take one of these big ones down, but you know, earlier this spring and summer, they were not, they were not this big at all. I mean, they come out like little babies. So that's what you have to protect. We have to protect these guys. So when all the other cows, the big ones have babies this spring, we have to protect them. And the, pretty much the only predator to these guys, other than diseases and stuff, is a coyote. And they, they murk them. I mean. Like it wasn't this, it wasn't this farm, but I think it was the, the one across the road lost 16 calves last spring. Think about that. Think about how much money that is. I mean, this is, this is farmer's livelihood. So we're out here just trying to shoot some coyotes for that reason, not just for fun, not just for sport or any other reason, literally just to protect these guys. Oh, so you want to protect them just so you can kill them later. Well, yeah, I mean, I like hamburgers, but you gotta, you can't have a hamburger when the calf is dead. Okay. You can't have that. So part of the whole process of of doing this madness. But anyways, I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna say goodbye. See you later, guys. Ginger Ninja, I'll be back. We gotta go get our ghillies on. You guys know me and ghillie suits. We're like this. And then get the guns out. Sun's out, guns out, boys. Look at that. Now you're looking like a champion. Oh yeah. Now you're looking like a pro coyote you're hunter. You're a pro coyote hunter, 100%. Hunter. I just look like a really ridiculous snowman.
Well, as you can tell, it's a little bit, a little bit breezy. Can you hear it? Yeah, it's breezy. And that's blowing at her back, which is not what you want when you're uh, coyote hunting. You want it to be blowing right in your face like we are right now. So we're gonna pick up. We're gonna go try to do one more sit, hopefully down by the duck blind, by the duck's diner. But this is just kind of like a, hey, let's kill some time before we have to go clean this raccoon type deal. But no Yotzi right now, nothing. Nothing came to play, but I'm sure they heard us and smelt us with like a 20 mile an hour north wind blowing right. That's where they are. They're hiding right down there. They smelt us, they heard us. We just, we wanted to try it. We wanted to see if it worked, but we're moving spots. Woo, all right. Well, folks, unfortunately, we are gonna be unable to set another coyote setup, or what do, you, what do you call a stand? A set, a stand, something like that. We're gonna be unable because the way the direction of the wind is going, it's basically like this, and the only setup place that we can really have are trees. Basically, we just don't wanna waste our time and, and set with coyote having 20 mile an hour north wind right in its face where it's sitting there sniffing Austin's stinky ass. We can't be having that. So we're gonna go check the other traps. We haven't checked any of the other traps today. We've got three or four, four, no five. Then we have we have four lives and one one uh, dog proof, right? So we have some other traps on the other side. They used to be all right here. You guys know like we used to have traps right here, but we had moved them to the other side just to see what we had catch. So we're gonna go jump in the warthog. We're gonna run over there and see what we can find. And then after that, it is catch and cook time, folks. You stay tuned. Give her a go there, Jimmy. Oh, she fired. That's good. You just had to, didn't you? <laughs> you just had to. <laughs> There's perfectly good dry ground over there. You has to ram right through the ice. Well, here's the first trap. I uh, don't see any food at all. No dog food? No no food. The dog proof has, let's make sure there's still, is there still stuff? Yeah, there's still stuff in there. They just haven't really found it. I'll maybe I'll leave it like that. Yeah. Trap number one, nada. Trap number, oh my God! Look at it! Now that's a lot, that's smaller than the other one. That's way smaller. Oh God. What's up, What's up little guy? No, he's not now. What's up, bud? How we doing? Uh, how are you? Oh, they're cute. Twelve seconds later. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh! oh my goodness! Okay, chill, it's chill. Well, over here we got another trap. That one has not been touched at all. That's surprising. That's got a can of tuna in it or something. And then we got one more over here. And this is actually open water, so you would think they're really going to be having a lot of animals right here where this open water is kind of flowing. But we got another one right here with uh, nada, but there's no, only well, some dog food, but not much. So caught another, caught a coon and uh, nothing else. All right, buddy, we're not going to kill you. We just got to relocate you. So don't bite me. All right. Just take a chill pill. You'll be fine. You'll be all right. Don't hurt me. I won't hurt you. All right, we'll be friends. We'll be friends, I, I promise. All right, well, we finally made it to a different part of the farm, away from the corn. The reason why we're trapping these raccoons is because they're eating all the corn, and we can't be having any of that. So we, we basically brought them. You see the highway, there's no corn. So we're gonna release Buddy here. He may go back, I don't know, but we caught him in a live trap like this. I'm gonna release him. Anything in the foothold traps, we're killing. That's just kind of how we're doing it. Um, we're only putting the foothold traps. We're right next to the corn, right where we're trying to protect. And then this stuff is just kind of out, out, just trying to get them away from the farm a little bit more. All right, don't bite me, little guy. Go, go, buddy. There he goes. Go ahead, buddy. Don't attack me, though. I will drop kick you. See you later, buddy. See you later. Have fun. Nice knowing you. There Ricky goes. But we still got one. We still got to skin one, and we still got to eat one. This should be interesting. Eventually. I wouldn't, I, I mean, you, you might learn something how to skin it, but I tell you there's a lot better videos on YouTube than what you're gonna watch here, but I'm gonna do my best. So what I've done is you cut around, cut around the feet, hang it up. This is kind of just like a makeshift little hoist. And then you cut from here all the way around. And basically you're just gonna want to kind of pull. So we're gonna get, just slice up this skin just a little bit more than it already is all the way around. And just grab onto his skin here. And just pull down. You can tell he's got a lot of fat on it. He's been eating all my corn, so. Look at all that fat on there, that's crazy. You definitely wanna wear gloves during this. Raccoons have stuff that you don't want. So sometimes if you get kind of caught in a pinch, you can just kind of take your knife. 
And you can just pull and then wherever it gets kind of caught, you can take your knife and kind of cut it around it. All you folks at home that know what you're doing are probably just cringing, but you know what? Flair's doing his damn best. Wait, give me a break. Dude, this is ridiculous. Look how, this is just straight fat. I don't think I've ever seen an animal like this before in my life. I mean, just pure fat. There we go, now we're talking, folks. Not too sure what's going on here. This is all the meat that I got off for the back strap, like right here. This guy, this thin slice of beef jerky. Maybe this is correct, maybe I botched it. Honestly, I watched a handful of videos on how to clean a raccoon, and everybody kept saying back strap, but there's not any strap on the back. I mean, there's literally, there's literally nothing. You guys can see, like, there's a little bit of meat right here, but I mean, it's, it's paper thin. Like, that's, that's its bone right there. There's not, like, there's a little bit of meat. Is this, is this what they're talking about? Just this little bit? Like, I can't even get it, because it's so small. So we might not even be able to eat this back strap. I mean, there's, there isn't hardly any, any meat to it. Like just literally strips. Maybe that's what you're supposed to eat. I don't know, but something like this right here looks a lot more meaty, these thighs. So we're gonna, I'm gonna slice some meat off of these guys to, to eat instead. I mean, I don't really have any other option, honestly. There's no, there's no other meat on this guy. It's just like, he is just strictly fat. And then there's a little bit of meat like this, for example. I'm cutting off of, right off of his ribs from the other side. It's so thin. Like, I mean, I guess you could cook it just like a steak, but I feel like there's gotta be more to it than that. But there's hardly any meat on these guys. Kind of a botch, but we're gonna take some of this, this meat right here on its thighs. We'll cook that up and we'll see how it tastes. That's what we're working with here. This is what I came back with. There was not much of a back strap. I think this might've been the only piece and you can, it's covered in fat and like you can't really get this fat off. I mean, if I had a little bit sharper knife, maybe, but that's pretty much the only strip of back, this one too, back strap right here. There was this piece and this piece. Pretty much the rest of this is just chunked up, maybe this one, but chunked up thighs. It was basically all it was, just the legs, drumsticks, all kind of chunked up. Different pieces of the raccoon, and I did my best. This is, I mean, this is all fat pile that I got off of all this meat. It's pretty much like 99.9% .9 fat on these bad boys, but we got enough meat. Here's what we're dealing with. Frank's Red Hot wing sauce, not just regular sauce. We got some seasoned Kentucky Colonel flour in it. So we're just gonna soak these bad boys in some franks this is like this is what i've found to take out any game or any taste like that the best that i've seen so far and then we're gonna let these guys soak for a little bit throw it in some flour and we're gonna deep fat fry these guys that's pretty much the only safe way i can think of of how to really make this and make it somewhat edible not really sure but basically just get all this all the franks up in here and then i'll probably honestly let this soak for like 15 20 minutes and really get in there Throw it in some flour, throw it in the grease, and we'll see how it tastes. Nothing like some fried raccoon on a Wednesday night. Mace, you want some of this? No. All right. What if we're like, dude, this is so good. Like, like this is better than steak. Wow. Corn. It's my sweet corn. That's no. What, it's I'm my not... sweet corn. <laughs> They've been eating my damn sweet corn. I know that's the only thing that's in these raccoons. This is your sweet corn. <laughs> yeah, my damn sweet corn. It's not Kyle's. No, oh, me and Kyle, it's me and Kyle are like this. Me and Kyle share the sweet corn. It's field corn, not sweet no, corn. No, no. He said <laughs> that the raccoons get in the freaking sweet corn. Well, there's a lot and more. I love my sweet corn. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot more field corn than sweet corn. Yeah, it, that's more the reason why to kill these. Because there's not much of it out there. You ever, you ever seen that meme when it's like the oil's popping and they got like a 10 foot long tongue thing? No. I need that right now. That was a, that was a nice bite. Mmm, well, I didn't. I'm gonna let you taste it before I even say anything. Oh jeez, that means it's not that bad. Dude, it's great! Really? I'm not even kidding. I am convinced Red Hot can make anything taste good. Taste it. Give me this. Swear to God. If you, if you wanna make sure you get the same, I bit right there if you wanna bite on the other side. Okay. Or you can cut it in half if you want. Here, you wanna take a knife? Take a knife to it. Sure, where's that knife at? Right here. You taste this, and you tell me if you, could, if you would guess that's raccoon. 
Cooked it good. I cooked it very well. I got lucky. Tell me you would not think that's raccoon, dude. Okay. I just like... Dude, it's good! <laughs> that's really good. It's good! <laughs> I was like... It's like really, really good. Isn't it's, it? like, it's like chewy, but it's really good. It's tasting. It is tasting. Finn, chill, dog. He even wants some. Ew. Okay, so this is which one's the good piece? This is the good piece. That what might I, be kind of hot still. You might want to yeah. want to chill on that one. Yeah. So this, no way, dude. How is raccoon that it's good? It's good. I did I not tell you it's good. I'm not lying. That's really good. Like good. Like I thought this whole time this is going to be bad. This is going to taste nasty. Like I'd eat this all the time. Finn. It's the Franks. It's the Franks. It tastes good. It tastes good. What would you even describe it as? Like, it's dark it, chicken meat? Yeah, it, that's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like dark dark yeah. meat. Like yeah. dark meat on chicken. Like a chicken leg. Like a drumstick. Yeah. If you took a chunk of drumstick and fried it, it would yeah. taste just like that's this. That's crazy. Nope. Bye. Crazy. Come on. Bye. Come on. Nope. There are a lot of You know what it tastes like? Things. Um, fried um, gizzards. That's what it tastes Never like. Never had it. Okay, because it, it, they're a little tough, yeah. but they taste fine. Like, they really taste good. like meat. Fried gizzards. If you guys like fried gizzards, you would like raccoon. Down. Okay, good boy. I'm not going to give you any piece of raccoon, but I'll give you that. Is that good? You happy? Okay, good. What do you think? It's a little tough. Okay, you, you just made it look way hey, worse than no, that. No, this piece is that tough. It's, this is was like that th Was that a thin one? This is thin. Okay, so what is your opinion? Do you like that the thicker meat where it's like more like a steak, or do you like that back? I strap? like that thicker meat more. That's not as good, huh? This, I mean, it's not. You just don't taste as much. Yeah, because there's not as much meat versus like this. You taste a lot like, more and it tastes better. But that's I, like a piece of steak. Like it doesn't just, taste bad. There's just not a lot of flavor. You just, in this. Yeah, you just taste basically chicken. I mean, it's it's things. like jerky. This would be like more like jerky, and that's more like. I don't know. Should we make coon jerky? Ooh. Oh, coon jerky. snap. I think we should. We, I think we should make coon. Look at him. He's just, he thinks he's doing tricks. Look at him. He's up, down, up, down. Like, oh, oh, you think you're just getting treats? That's not how this game works. No. No, it's not. Anyways, I'm going to end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this killing cook. We have to keep him going. I have to do this and crow. Is crow the only thing you could think of that wouldn't taste good? If raccoon it's tastes like good, and stuff, like, so does raccoon. I mean, I might die. I don't know. I want to do possum. That's my next checklist. Possum. Possum soup. Possum soup. Yeah, that just sounds good. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Said no one ever. Said no one ever. It does not sound good. We're about to find out. You guys need to comment some ideas. What animals could we go after that you're like, there's no way it could taste good, and I will cook it. I have to catch it. Like, I can't just go to the like, supermarket, but like, let me know. I mean, we, we've narrowed down. We have beaver left. We have... We've done squirrel, we've done rabbit, we've done frogs. Possum. We have possum. Possum and beavers. I think are pretty much the only animals left around the farm. Crows. Don't know if that's a, a green light on that one or not, but give me some ideas in the comment section. Well, if you guys enjoy the catch cook, let me know down below. And really do appreciate you guys tuning in. I had fun with it. I mean, I find it interesting to, to do this. And yeah. the, the things that people say are gross and don't taste good, us making it taste good and actually like eating it. It's like Mythbusters, but shout out to Frank's Red Hot. They don't sponsor, but if anyone from Frank's is watching, hook your boy up. Peace! Peace.